Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2023. I figured for today's video, I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. I'm doing a 24 hour readathon. I'm very nervous and excited because I've never done one of these before. So I have no idea if it's going to be a fail. Am I going to succeed? I have no idea. But this stemmed off of, I've been reading this book since the 2nd or the 3rd of January and is currently the 6th and I haven't finished it yet. It's a thick book, you guys. I'm on page 472 and it has like 750 something pages, I think. So it's taken me forever and I'm like, you know what? I need to read more this month. I need to get books done. So I'm like, do a 24 hour readathon. Like it's a perfect way to get through my books because I have a lot of books on my TBR that I need to read. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm currently doing this at 10 o'clock at night. I was going to do this earlier, but I had to wake up super early to take my brother to the doctor. And then when I got home, I had to go out because this weather was just crappy. And I'm like, you know what? If I just sit in this house, I'm going to end up falling asleep. So I went out for a bit and I was like, you know what? I'll start the 24 hour readathon at night. So we're going to start now. And I have no idea how I'm going to be doing this. I took a nap a little while ago because I didn't really sleep well last night and I'm like if I don't take a nap I'm not going to be able to complete this. So I think if anything like if I'm getting really tired to the point where you know the words I can't read the words on the page so I'm too tired I'll pause it and like take a nap or something but I'm not going to like sleep sleep. So yeah we're going to start. I really need to finish this book. If I seem very energized right now one because I just woke up from a nap and two because I have some energy to get me through this. So, this video is going to be chaotic, so I hope you guys are excited. Alright, it's 10.02, I wanted to start this at 10, but you know what? Better late than never. So, I'm going to actually start reading downstairs, and then I'll work my way up here as we get, like, later on into the night. But let's start. I'm super nervous. Here we go. Here's the 24 hours. Okay, guys, I want to apologize. This lighting is going to be, like, on and off, like, throughout the night, and then it'll get better, like, once we hit, like... The morning hours but i wanted to give a slight update i'm only like 30 minutes and i had to stop the timer because i had to come up and get more tabs because i'm only using like the yellow and orange ones because i wanted to match the cover of the book am i crazy yes a little bit but look how pretty i don't know if you can see that very well but i am on part three sorry for this lighting i apologize but yeah, I'm on part three. I'm on page 513. So we're making progress. I'm going to go back downstairs. This lighting's going to bother me. I'm going to go downstairs and continue reading this. So hopefully I should be finishing this soon. Alright guys, time check-in. We are two hours and 36 minutes in. And I thought that was the last part of the book, but there's four parts. So I'm on part four. I have like 100 pages left. It's like 1242. Well, it is 1242. So I'm going to read this last part and then I'm going to figure out what I want to rate this book and then we'll move on to our next book in the readathon. Okay, guys. Next update. It's currently almost 2 a.m. and I'm tired already. And we're only three hours and 46 minutes in. Oliver's being super lovable right now. Say hello. Say hello. Okay. But really, I finished my book. And I did pause the time like a little bit after I finished. I think I finished it like five minutes ago. Because I needed to process this book. I gave it four stars. I was a little bit nervous. Not gonna lie, when I first started reading this book. Because the character that this book like mainly revolves around is not a character that's my favorite. I did grow to love her more after this book but like going into it I wasn't really that excited but I loved it. This lighting is gonna bother me. I'm gonna keep saying that. It's gonna get better as we get throughout the night but um so I finished this and now I have to pick out my next book. I think I'm gonna start reading The Inheritance games series because I was looking on my TBR for the month because I picked 
some out of um, my TBR jar. I did that and then I had also a couple other books that I knew that I wanted to get to this month so I picked those out myself and then the rest of them like I said I did my TBR jar. This was one of them that I picked. I think I'm gonna read this one next because this book was so long I need something that's short and quick and it has really short chapters so I'm sure this will be very easy to get into. I'm gonna go downstairs continue reading. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm getting tired already and I've only been doing this for almost four hours now so this is gonna be a fun night. I might make myself some coffee though later or I have another Red Bull that my dad got me for tomorrow so maybe we'll have that in a bit. Probably not until like later on in a couple hours from now because I just had one at like it was like 9 when I opened it, I think. A little after 9. So I don't want to like overdo it right now. Because then I'll be hyper for a while and then I'll just crash. So I don't want to do that yet. I'm going to stop procrastinating and go downstairs and start this book. Okay guys, so I'm about 100 pages. No, I'm over 100 pages. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. 103 pages into this book so not too far and we are just a little bit over five hours into this challenge and I am tired already so I think I'm going to go upstairs and wash my face with cold water and then I have some coffee in the fridge I think I'm gonna make myself some coffee even though that coffee like kind of sucks but it's 3.30 in the morning and there's no Dunkin or anything that are open until like 5 and I won't be going to Dunkin probably until like 8 o'clock I think that's when I'll go for coffee if I manage to somehow get that far because like I told you earlier I did not sleep well last night so I might like like I said I might like take a little bit of a nap I just hope it doesn't turn into sleep for me I'm gonna try and like avoid to sleep but like I said if I'm like reading, if it's getting like too hard for me to read, like even now I'm like taking my time with reading because I'm tired. So I hope that me washing my face and um, getting some coffee in me helps. So let's go do that. Hello guys. So we are eight hours, and like 35 minutes into this. I'm exhausted. It's currently 6.48 right now and I need coffee so badly. I made coffee for myself here with the coffee I told you guys that I didn't like and I couldn't drink it. I couldn't. It was too bad. It was too terrible. But I finished my book. The second book so far. And I really like this book. I want to actually continue the series but I don't think I'm going to continue it for this readathon because I have other books on my TBR that I need to read. I think I'm going to pause this timer for a little bit. I need to take like a break from like looking at books for a little bit. I think I'm going to go on like TikTok for a bit. I wanted to go to Duncan, but it's so early and I think I'm going to probably have to wait until like 8.30, maybe 9 o'clock to be able to go just because everyone in the house is sleeping and I don't want to like scare them or anything. So yeah, I'm going to scroll my phone for a little bit and then I also have to decide from my little list on my phone of books I have to read this month on which book I want to read next. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys. I'll probably give this book five stars, honestly. I think I'm going to give it five stars. The other book was a four stars, but I think this gave me that five star feeling. Okay guys, as you can see, the sun is starting to, I don't know if you can even see that, like just barely, but it's like starting to get like a little bit lighter out. But I'm sitting in front of my bookshelves trying to pick out my next read and I'm torn between two books. So the first one I have is Still Beating. I've heard such good things about this. The only thing is apparently it's like really dark. Like it's a dark romance book. So I'm kind of scared. But this isn't on my TBR for the month so I'm going to need to read it eventually. And then I'm also in the middle of reading the Magnolia Parks series. So this is the third book. So I don't really know which one I want to read just yet. It's currently 717. I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. Change the wallpaper. I don't know if that's any better. 
but it's 7 17 and I honestly think I'm going to take a nap because I've pretty much been up for 24 hours like I did take a nap I took like a two and a half hour nap I think I don't really know what time to fall asleep like before I started the readathon but I feel like if I don't take a nap I'm gonna end up like crashing later on and I'm still gonna be doing the 24 hours like no matter what like I'll stop the timer take a nap and then when I wake up we'll continue throughout and I'm still doing the full 24 hours it's just not gonna be like all the way through because to read you have to be like focused like you can't be like falling asleep and reading the words it's just not possible so I think I'm gonna set my alarm for like 9:30. so it'll take like a two hour nap I think that's what I'm gonna do but I don't know which book to pick next decisions decisions I think I'm gonna go with still beating this book is like so short it's like 300 pages I think Two hundred ninety-seven pages. So this will be like a quick read, and then after this book, we will go into Magnolia Parks, which this is a pretty thick book. I think it's like five hundred pages. Yeah, a little over five hundred pages. So yeah, those are my next two reads that I'm going to be reading, and I think I'm just going to lay down and take a nap. So I'll talk to you guys when I get up. Hopefully, I don't end up falling asleep, even though if like. A normal sleep you know what I mean not just like a nap even if I do we're still doing the 24 hours all right guys major update I took a nap and if you're wondering if I woke up at the correct time that I was supposed to no no I did not I'm exhausted to be fair though I woke up super early yesterday so I think that's why I feel like I would have done a good job if I would have just like gotten a good night's sleep last night and started it this morning but I didn't do that. So here we are. We're going to order coffee in a couple of minutes from Dunkin'. I'm going to go pick it up. And then we're going to continue this readathon. And we're going to do it successfully. Even though it's not going to be 24 straight hours, I'm still going to read for 24 hours. So I just need to let myself wake up first before I go out and get a coffee. And after that, back to reading. I'm, gonna, I'm actually excited to continue this. So let's go get coffee because I freaking need it. Alright guys, so I got my coffee. Thank the Lord. I needed this. I literally needed this so badly. That's what I needed before. Like before I went to sleep. It was a coffee. But I'm resuming our readathon. I'm going to read Still Beating. I'm pretty nervous for this book, but I'm going to resume my timer. I think I'm pretty much almost at 9 hours. So let's continue the readathon. I also made myself some breakfast because I'm hungry and I need some food. Alright guys, a little bit of an update. I am still reading, still beating. I'm about 100 pages in and it's really good so far. It's just very, very dark. So, I don't know, it's taken me a little bit of time to actually read it and I'm enjoying it. Let's see what time it is. So it's currently 2.20. I am about 10 and a half hours in to this challenge. I'm going to continue reading this. I also have friends on in the background. You can't hear it because I lowered it, but I might take a little bit of a break in a little bit. I keep giving myself like little breaks like on my phone or whatever. I don't know. I'm having fun. I am tired. Alright guys, let's catch up. So I have officially hit the 12 hour mark. We're only halfway there. It's 5 o'clock right now. I had to go to the gas station with my dad and he went to go get beer. So I had to pause it then. I'm pausing it right now because I need like a little mental break from reading for like a little bit. I'm going to get back into it. I'm actually really into the story. It's just very, very dark. And I know this is going to be a five star read. Like I love the characters. The story's just so like beautiful and like heartbreaking and you just you feel everything like along with the characters. I love this. I'm like I'm 189 pages in. So we're getting close to finishing this book. So I'm gonna take like a 10 minute break or whatever to myself and then get back into it because we have a long way to go. 
I am also starting to battle a headache right now. Like, have you ever just, like, read for too long, like, and gotten, like, a headache? I'm starting to get one. I need to take something. I also have to feed my cats right now. Okay. So, after I finish reading Still Beating, I'm going to make myself some dinner. And then I'll read my next book while I'm eating. I'm also, I think that's going to be, like, my last break is going to be making dinner because we're only 12 hours in so we need to get this going so we can finish um but yeah I like to take just like little breaks because I feel like if I'm just staring at a, like a book for too long I don't know I just feel like I've like needed to give myself like five to ten minute breaks here and there and I slept which I'm kind of mad about because I would have been done in like five hours if I didn't sleep but like I just like I told you guys it would have been so hard for me to complete this challenge if I didn't like take a little bit of rest so all right guys it is time for another update let's check in and see how far we are into this all right so we're almost 14 hours into this challenge and I just finished reading this book Ed oh my god this book made me feel everything I would give it five billion stars if I could it, it was just like such a heartbreakingly like story and you felt like everything with the characters and you just you were rooting for them and I don't know I really love this book I'm gonna be thinking about this book for a while but now I'm going to go make myself some dinner while I think about the next book I want to read so I told you guys I wanted to read the next book in the Magnolia Parks um, series. But I want to like annotate that book and everything. I feel like the rest of the books on my um, like TBR I want to like annotate and everything. So I'm trying to decide if I should still read those and like annotate it. It'll just take me like a little bit while longer to get into it. I mean we still have a while left in this challenge. So... Maybe we will, or maybe I'll just pick out a different book that I want to read. We'll see, but right now I need to go make myself some dinner because I'm getting hungry. It's after 7 o'clock now. It took me a lot longer than I thought to finish this book because this book's only like less than 300 pages. But I was like really like engrossed in the story and I don't know, I was soaking it all in. Alright guys, so I'm standing in front of my bookshelf and I'm like, what do I want to read? So I'm not letting myself start any more series because I'm currently in the middle of two or well, three if you count the Inheritance Game series which I started yesterday but it's only three books so it's a trilogy so I wouldn't necessarily call that a series. I don't know but I'm reading the Addicted series which is the book that I'm up to. I read Addicted for Now in December. So I would read this now, but I have to annotate this. So it's going to take me like a while to get through it and I want to enjoy it. It's not something that I want to read in a read -a I don't know. So I'm not going to pick that book. I also told you guys that I wanted to read this book, which I think this might be the last book that I decide to read in this video because I probably won't, won't end up finishing it. I'll just like start it. So with that being said, I think it's time. I think it's time to pull the trigger and read Verity. Yes, I have not read this book yet. I know, I'm late. I've had this book for so long and I just haven't, I don't know, I haven't been in the mood for it, but it's only like 300 pages. So it's not that long. So I feel like I'll fly through it. So this is the book I think I'm gonna read. I was tossed up between a bunch of other different books, but I think this is the one that I'm gonna stick with, even though, even though I'm still just staring at myself questioning, like, is this what I wanna read? I think we'll just give it a shot. We'll like read a little bit of it, and then like if it's something that I don't want to read yet, we can always pick up another book and come back to this another day. Okay guys, I have to fuel myself because I'm getting tired, and at this point I need to run off of caffeine because if I don't, I'm going to end up crashing. Best sound ever. I love that sound. Cheers guys. So good, okay. So I am a little bit in 74 pages in. 
And at this point in the night, it's about to be 10 o'clock. So I'm not pausing my timer anymore. Regardless if I go and get a snack or if I want to take a break and go on my phone. Because if I don't, if I keep pausing it, it's just... We'll be here forever and I want to get a decent sleep tonight even though I'm not going to finish this until I think like 5 after 5 a.m. But at least I'll have more of a sleep than I did before if that makes any sense. And I also have to take my brother to work in the morning and the Steelers play. So it like determines all of our playoff fates so I have to watch that. So yeah that's the reason why I'm not going to be pausing it anymore. I'm just gonna let the timer keep rolling. And yeah, now that I have my caffeine, I'm gonna keep going. All right guys, reading update time. I only have like 100 pages left of this book and I don't know how I feel about this so far. Like it's good, but all of the characters in this book scare me. Like I'm sus of every single character in this book I don't know. Like, it's weird to explain, but all the characters just... Something's not sitting right with me, and I'm sure I'll figure it out by the end of the book. Because, like I said, I still have 100 pages left. But I am... I'm tired, guys. I'm so tired. Let's see. Let's check in and see what time we're at. Oh, we're only 18 minutes. Or 18 minutes. Oh. 18 hours. It's about to be midnight, and I want to go to sleep, not going to lie, but I'm going to try and push through. I'm going to finish Verity, and I like that I have friends on in the background, like every few minutes, I'll like just peek up and see like what episode is playing. It's, it's nice to have on like a show that you like in the background, like reading books. <laughs> Guys! This book has me speechless. Like, I have no words. Uh, this book left me, like, confused, shocked, like, all of the above. The thing that makes this hard with doing, like, so many books and so many hours is, like, ratings. Like, I want to give this five stars, but don't have, like, that five star feeling. So for now, I just rated it a four stars on Goodreads. But, like, I really enjoyed it. So I might end up, like, changing some of my ratings on these books. As I think about them more but I I love Colleen Hoover's writing like something about her writing it just makes it so easy to like read the book I never really have any problems getting into her stories ever we need to stop on the Colleen Hoover hate train because her books are really good I understand that there are a lot of like underground authors that like also deserve the hype but I don't know her books just hit different for me so that's a little bit of an update. I finished that and I'm just like, what the heck just happened? It's currently about to be 1.30. We're almost 20 hours in. So we have like a little over four hours left. So now I gotta figure out, I think I'm gonna read Magnolia Parks. But I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm gonna use the bathroom and I'm probably gonna wash my face with cold water to wake me up. Because I'm definitely getting sleepy now. Alright guys, so after deciding on what I want to read, like I was going through all the books on my bookshelf and I'm telling myself, I'm tired of holding like a book. Like I just want to lay in bed and not have to hold a heavy book right now, especially since we're getting, this is basically going to be like my last read pretty much because I might not even finish this next read because I only have, what did I say, like four hours left? Let me see. Yeah, I have little under four hours left so I don't know if I'm gonna be finishing this next read but the point of this clip is I decided I'm gonna be reading a book on my Kindle because I just I'm tired of holding a book so I'm reading Indigo Ridge by Debney Perry I've heard such good things about this series and I've been wanting to buy the paperbacks, but I'm like, you know what? I have Kindle Unlimited, so I'll just read them on here. And then if I enjoy them that much, I can just buy the physical copy. 
So I'm going to start this and we'll see how it goes. I want to go to bed. I really do. But I'm going to try and push through. We're almost there. Let's do it. Alright guys, I have an update for you. As you can see, it is daytime now. I failed this 24 hour challenge. Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I was at like hour 22 and I was just reading on my Kindle and I just kept like shutting my eyes. It was so hard for me to focus on what I was reading. I kept feeling like I was reading the same sentence over and over again and then I ended up falling asleep. So, and I left my timer running. So if you look at my timer, it says 26 minutes, 26 minutes, 26 hours. Didn't read for 26 hours. I read for over 22 hours. So technically, I failed. But I still read four books. So I'm considering it a win to me. It's a win to me. So I'm going to do a just wrap up of all the books that I read. I need to put these in order. So the first book that I read was A Court of Silver Flames. I think I was like over 50% into this book when I started this video. I was very scared to read this. I put this off for a long time because I don't like the girl character that this book is about. Well, I didn't like her before I read this book. After reading the book, I, I love her character. She went through a lot and you really get to see that in this book and you really start to feel for her. Even though like the first like beginning of this book like pissed me off her character pissed me off a lot and I was like Ugh. I was like even considering like not finishing this just because her character was just bothering me but the further I got into it you really got to understand why and I really just felt bad for her so I gave this book four stars it just didn't give me that five star feeling and it took me a while to get into the beginning of it so I ended up giving it four stars love this book i love the whole series please go read the akatar series i definitely recommend it and then i went into the inheritance games and after finishing this book i wanted to pick up the next book in the series but i was like i might as well like wait because i wanted to get through the books that i had on my january tbr but i loved this introduction into this trilogy the ending of this book left in a cliffhanger i'm like great and I was really questioning picking up the second book. So I'm definitely going to see if I get through all the other books that I have to read this month. Then I'll definitely pick up the second one. I rated this five stars. I love the characters. And I don't know, the story just really like intrigued me. The chapters are really short, so it's really easy to like, a really easy and quick read to get through. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. Next we have the star, the star of the show this book broke my heart and like put it back together and it's only like 300 pages like a little bit less than 300. i was rooting for the characters the whole time basically i'm gonna try and not spoil this book but i'm gonna tell you a little bit of what it's about it's about these two characters dean and quora and they're like enemies because Quora's sister Mandy is engaged to Dean and they kind of have like this like joking like relationship where they like pull pranks on each other and they don't really get along that well but one night um I think it's at her like party or whatever they end up going to a bar and she ends up losing her wallet so she doesn't have money to uber and she keeps calling people on her phone and nobody's answering so the last person that she calls is Dean the guy that she hates her sister's fiance and he ends up picking them up and they get kidnapped and I don't know you just get the whole story it's emotional it's raw it's beautiful I've never rooted for characters as much as I rooted for these two <sighs> just heartbreakingly beautiful I tabbed it and I want to go back in and like highlight and underline my favorite moments in this book because I was just really trying to like engross myself into the story and not like focusing on like highlighting or anything even though I did tab so I can go back later and do that. Five bajillion stars. If I had to recommend any of these books in this video, please read this. Just check your trigger warnings because it's really dark. My last physical book that I read was Verity by Colleen Hoover. This book was a total mind F. Like I read the the last few like chapters in this book and I was like what the heck just happened and then I'm just sitting there like in shock after finishing this book 
figuring what I wanted to rate this and I just decided on four stars for now. I might end up changing it to five stars because Colleen Hoover's books are so easy to get into. I never have any problems picking up one of her books and like starting it. I always like fly through them. Her writing is just beautiful and every single character in this book just sussed me out. Like they just all gave me like this weird feeling. But yeah, I really liked this book and I'm surprised that I haven't picked this up sooner. I've had this on my shelf for a long time. So yeah, four stars for now. So those are all the physical books that I read. And then the last one that I started reading is Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. And I'm on page 111. So I didn't get that far into this book just because like I told you guys before, I'm literally just reading like in my bed, like and my eyes are like getting heavy and I'm reading and I'm not like my brain isn't comprehending what I'm reading so I have to like keep reading the same sentence over and over again and that's when I was like you know what we're not gonna succeed we're just not gonna so yeah I'll probably end up finishing that book tonight or tomorrow I need to just take a break from reading because I read for basically 24 hours so yeah that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed watching it i will definitely do another one of these and see if i can read for 24 hours straight in a couple months not anytime soon these are all the books that i read i definitely recommend all of them and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this my battery is about to die so i'm gonna go but let me know what other videos you want to see from me in the comments and i will definitely get around to doing them no matter if it's book videos lifestyle beauty like anything and yeah i love you and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.